Hi everybody, today I was going to do an experiment showing how to dry flowers in five different ways. So I'm going to show you how to do them and then at the end I'm going to show you which way worked best and the results. So let's get started. Now there are a lot of flowers that you can use to do uh, drawings. I have baby's breath that we're going to do it because these ones dry really fast and I wanted to be able to show you how they look when they're done. Now there are a lot of flowers you can choose besides baby breath. You can use flowers like roses or you can use flowers like uh, amaranth or lilies, pansies, lavenders, hydrangeas. I'll leave a little list of flowers you can use below, but you can pretty much use all kinds of flowers. It, the most important thing is the method that you're using to dry them. Uh, the first method we're going to use is the most common method, and it's called the hang method. So what we're going to do is separate it out. Now you see there's lots of branches here. And Mine doesn't have any greenery on it, and that's what you want. If you have a bunch of leaves on your flower that you chose, you need to take all the leaves off and just have the stem left and the flower part. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, separate these from the main branch. Hey, okay, there we go. Now we're just going to put them together like this and you can tie them together with something like um, uh, some dental floss will work. Alright, so you just want to tie the ends together like that and then we're going to hang it. Okay, it should look like this when you're done and you want to just go ahead and hang this in a cool dry place that gets not a lot of humidity maybe your attic or in a closet and a darker area is good because uh, the darkness helps to retain the color of your flower so if you had a red flowers or something that darkness would help maintain the color now drying in this method usually takes about four weeks of hanging so it's probably one of the longer methods but the most traditional common method of doing flower drying Okay, the next method we're going to do is with cat litter. Now, when you're using cat litter, make sure you get one that's uh, fragrance-free and just like a clay-based kind. That's perfect for the flowers. This method is best for flowers that are a little bit more sturdy, maybe like roses. Or even these baby's, best, baby's breath flowers can handle it. So, you want to get a container. And you don't have to have a container with the lid. You're going to leave the lid off. So just find yourself a container that will fit your flowers. And go ahead and fill it up with the cat litter part way. And then you're going to take your flowers and pop them in there. And cover them with the cat litter. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure you cut the stems off because in most cases the stems will become so brittle that they have to be taken off anyway. And you'll have to reattach a fake stem if you want a stem or you, if it was maybe a rose, you can reattach it because they're a little bit stronger. But most cases like these little baby's breast stem, they're just going to get too brittle to be used. So it's better to just go ahead and cut off as much of the stem as you can and let them just sit in the cat litter like this in a cool uh, dry place and they should be completely dried within within three weeks okay this next method takes sand borax and some salt so what you're going to need is a container to put your flowers in 
and then you're going to need something that you can measure out two parts borax to one part sand. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now there's my borax and sand mixture. And we're going to add to that a teaspoon of salt. Just plain an iodine salt. And what the salt does, it is going to preserve the color of your flowers while they're drying. Just go ahead and mix that up. Just like the kitty litter method, this is also just an absorbent, so it will absorb the moisture of the flowers while it's sitting in this. Feels nice. This one's a little bit lighter than the kitty litter method. And if um, you have even more delicate flowers and you want to try this, you can mix it with the cornmeal instead of the sand for even lighter mixture. So if you have a delicate petals, then it will still work. Okay, it's mixed up good. Now we're going to just place our flowers in there. And I'm going to cut them off of the stem completely here. I'm just going to pour and cover them all the way. It's a little bit tricky getting them to stay under the mixture, but we're trying. I hope it works easier for you. The baby breath has a lot of different little flowers, so they keep poking out, but we're going to get them. Okay. All right, that looks pretty well covered. I see nothing's really sticking out anymore, so you can go ahead and set that aside for about still same time. I think about two, three weeks also for this method. And again, in an undisturbed spot, dark, dry, for two to three weeks. Okay, now for some faster methods, which is everyone wants to get it done faster. So. I have an experimental method that I was going to try with you guys. Now, how you do it, it's with this um, kitty litter method that I told you guys earlier. And what I've read and saw, remember this is an experiment, is that you use this kitty litter method like this, and you pop it in the microwave for about two minutes, and they should be dry in two minutes. I don't even own a microwave, so I was going to try it in just the oven. So I'm going to take this mixture and go put it in a pot and we're going to we're going to try that way. So let's go see. Okay, so remember how I said I don't have a microwave? I was going to experiment the oven with this cat litter method. So if you had a microwave, you would take this and put it in there for 2 minutes and then let it cool and then shake out your flowers and they should be perfectly dried and ready but I don't have that so I got this stock pot here and I'm going to put in it the cat litter and bury up the flowers in there okay you see they're pretty buried in there and I'm just going to put this in my regular oven okay there and we're going to see if it'll work I'm going to just cut, cook it in there for 10 minutes I think that's good at 350. I will see if the kitty litter heat, heats it up enough to do the job or not. And this last method, I'm sure, is going to be my favorite method here. I have not tried it yet, but we're going to try it. All you need to do is get some drying racks, and then you go ahead and um, uh, cut the flowers onto them and try and remove as much stem as you can and just spread them out on there this method is great if you're making maybe some potpourri or you're going to make some flower arrangement like in a picture frame or something I go ahead and spread them out on the rack like this and then we're just gonna cook them at the lowest setting of your oven about 175 to 200 degrees 
is perfect. And if you have a convection oven, that kind of helps to circulate the air around. And this method, it takes about um, two hours. And you need to check it every half an hour. So my lowest setting is 200 degrees. We're going to go ahead and do that. And I'll check it at 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes. So we'll see. I think these should dry in an hour because they're baby's breath. So it should be pretty fast. So we'll go ahead and see how that looks. I took the kitty litter out of the oven and it's really hot. So I'm going to just let it cool down for about 10 more minutes. And we'll see how it did. Okay, so here are my original flowers. And I just took the ones from the experiment that I was telling you about. Well, I took them out of the oven after the 10 minutes and they've been cooling off. So they look like this. And they feel pretty dry. And it was not bad. This is the original ones over here. You can see how the difference looks. Original and then dried. The original is nice and fluffy and they stick out and these dried ones of course are all shriveled up a bit but um, I guess not bad for a dried muffin. So I think this way works if you don't have a microwave and you want to try the kitty litter method it still works not bad in the oven 10 minutes at 350 this is what it will be like and the stem feels really dried up it's crispy and the flowers too so it was it worked fine perfect now for the last method okay it's been about an hour now and these are the ones that were cooking in the oven just drying in the oven for an hour and they're fully done crisp ready and I like the way these turned out much better than the one in the cat litter because you can see it kind of has this original fluffiness and here I'll show you the the ones in the cat litter here. And this is a cat litter one. A cat looks flatter and obviously been squished a bit. These ones are fluffy and look more like the original. See the difference here? These ones look flat and squeezed. These ones look fluffy almost like the original flower. So I really like this drying in the oven method. It took one hour and they're perfect. They're ready for your arrangement or whatever you want to do with them they're perfectly dried and they look almost completely like the original here is an original flower you can see and here is the dried ones I don't know why my camera is not focusing better but uh you can still see this is pretty good to the original the original of course is more bright and more white but the shape is pretty close to the original. I really like that. It did a really awesome job for only one hour of drying. And I got dry flowers, so it was awesome compared to this um, kitty litter oven method. You can definitely tell the difference here. These are very tiny, squished looking compared to the original or even the uh, oven dried. I really like the oven dried. I really recommend this method for any of you who want to dry flowers quickly and want to try it. It works with all the kind of flowers, tiny ones, delicate ones, or if you have uh, strong ones like roses, whatever. You can do all of them in this method for one to two hours. I really like this method. Okay, those are the five methods I think those are. So uh, you guys go ahead and try it. Let me know which one you like the best. Like I said, I like this oven one the best. That's for me. So comment below and let me know which method you guys like the best. And go ahead and try it. And let me know how all of them work for you. I have to wait on the other methods a few weeks. So I can't give you the results of those yet. But I am pretty sure that this is still going to be my favorite. Because I am one of those who want it done faster. Especially when I'm in the mood to do the flowers. I want it done. So if you're like me, this method is best. Hooray! I really like this. Go ahead and try it. Uh, let me know what you guys think and also let me know what other videos you'd like me to do and comment below and I'll be happy to hear them 
and like and subscribe subscribing lets me know that you like this video so please let me know all right bye for now